Fred, are you there? Yes, sir. Fred is our chief satellite monitor. Fred, show Wesley how the hurricane looked from space when you first saw it developing. It's on the screen now, sir. This movement is repeating like the cloud movement I showed you before. Are those clouds? That's right. Spiraling winds have blown the clouds into that pattern. Hurricanes start over warm ocean waters. Hurricane spotters, like Fred, look for these cloud patterns during the months when the ocean waters here are the warmest, between the months of June and November, but most often in September. I know that clouds form when warm, moist air rises and cools, but that doesn't explain why the winds spiral or why they're so strong. Look at your weather watch, Wesley. We still have a lot to learn about the process, but in general, what happens is this. The warm air rises and the clouds form, as you said. Because the ocean can supply a large amount of moisture to the air, more and more clouds form. A thunderstorm begins out in the ocean. Now, because of the rotation of the Earth, the rising air begins to spin and move the clouds into a spiral pattern. Winds pick up energy from the warm, moist air. When the winds reach 75 miles per hour, the storm is officially called a hurricane. Clouds form in layers around the center of the spiral, which is called the eye. The storm grows in size until it may be as much as 300 to 500 miles across, with winds around the eye blowing at 200 miles an hour or more. Heavy rains fall, and the strong winds produce high waves. The hurricane moves slowly northwest at about 10 miles an hour, pushed by the steady trade winds that blow in that part of the world.